Hey everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways, and today I'm going to share with you my tips for growing really great tomato plants. These plants here are about six weeks old, maybe a little bit less. I desperately need to pot them up. Look at how long and tall they are. They are in a window that faces west, and that's not um, a plant light there. I didn't have enough of them, so I had to grab a different type, but they're still doing pretty well. And I'm going to um, show you some other plants as well. These right here are your standard tomato plants, uh, a normal size tomato, about, uh, I'd say, six to eight ounces, as opposed to cherry or grapes. But I'm going to show you uh, my cherry tomatoes as well. Okay, these are some of my cherry tomatoes. They're growing pretty well, too, as you can see. However, I have found over the years that cherry tomato plants tend to grow a little bit slower than full-size tomatoes. I'm not sure why that is, but it just seems to be the norm. Alrighty, so one of the tips I want to share with you is using a fan. This is a standing oscillating fan. I can raise it up or down, and I can also tilt the head. I like the oscillating because it kind of obviously goes back and forth, and I use it on the lowest speed. This kind of mimics the wind for the plants. So you want to start doing that when your tomato plants are about three inches or taller. It creates a very strong, sturdy stem. And you don't have to do this all day long. Just, in, you, know, um, you know, maybe two hours a day would be plenty good enough. And it also works with other plants, too. It really just helps to build them up a little bit. And another tip I have that I can't show you is music. Music really does help plants to grow. I've done it for years, but it's only been in the last few years that I read some studies that said classical music is the best, I guess. Um, violin in particular, I guess they seem to respond to. Heavy metal is a no-no, and unfortunately so is country music. Apparently the plants don't like it, and they either won't grow or they die with those two versions of music. So. Um, get that classical going and they found great results with just three hours a day and I, I don't believe it has to be a straight three hours but um, if you can do it that would probably work out great and I think um, the last tip I have for tomato plants is when they get a little bit bigger I'd say over three uh, three inches or a little bit more twice a week I water them with watered down coffee um, it adds nitrogen, or it helps them with the nitrogen in their in the soil with the roots, and they really, really like it. Now, all plants won't like that, so I pretty much just stick with um, the tomatoes. And I'll take, well, it depends on how many tomatoes I'm watering, but I figure I do a one-to-one -one ratio with coffee, and I drink strong coffee, so one part strong coffee to one part water. And um, I've grown some beautiful tomato plants over the years. And a lot of these tips will help um, with all your plants. Maybe not the coffee, but um, having the light on them, you know, really tight on them. And the fan will definitely help, as will the music. Just try them, even with your house plants, and see how it goes. Well, I hope this helped you out. I hope you have great tomato plants. I hope you have a great garden this year. It was wonderful talking to you. You take care.